Brynn. They say that confession is good for the soul. That's great, because I have a confession to make and an apology. But first, the confession. I watch you a lot, mostly from the distance I watch you. And I have wondered, can you feel my eyes? You don't seem to notice, but I do so notice you. I watch you walk the dog down the street, your thick dark hair caught in the breeze. Your laughter ripples across the lawns when you stop to talk to the neighbors. Do you know it's like the sun rising when you smile? I watch you killing badminton birdies with your son in the backyard. And, uh, by the way, <clears throat> tackling is not legal in badminton. You don't really need to swing so hard, but you sure look good doing it. And another thing, I'm certain you don't have a clue how much that boy loves you. I watch you at church worshiping, eyes closed as your hands and your heart reach toward heaven. I watch you slurping down your amaretto lattes. I especially like watching you from behind at the grocery store when you're pushing the shopping cart in those powder blue jeans. Hey, how can that be wrong? I would think that any woman would be pleased to know that her husband of 13 years finds her more mesmerizing now than the day he married her. Which brings me to my apology. What I'm about to say, I should have said far, far sooner. I watch you watching you, and it saddens me. You grimace in the mirror, your fingers tracing those crinkles at the corners of your face like they're fault lines. I think they just add more character to the most exquisite eyes I've ever seen. You moan in the mirror when you turn sideways, clutching your stomach like you have food poisoning. What are you seeing? So your midriff isn't solid granite like when you were a California beach babe. You lost a little tone during childbirth, but you gained a son. I'd call that a pretty good exchange. You sniff at the mirror like you just caught a whiff of dead fish. Now what is it? Don't do this to yourself, at least not so much. This lacerating self-scrutiny is serving no one, least of all you. So I apologize for not letting you know sooner that you have to do absolutely none of this critical analysis for me. In fact, it hurts me to see you be so hard on the woman I love. What are you comparing yourself to? The iconic images of the American fashion industry? <laughs> the government should force Revlon and Victoria's Secret to issue disclaimers. Warning, all models have spent intensive time in Photoshop. None of these leggy, smooth-skinned seductresses can actually be found in nature. 13 years now. Few rough spots, but mostly really, really good years. And I'm sure you've noticed I'm a bit more weathered than when we first met. Not exactly cut like the man of steel. Hope that's okay. And yes, I watch you a lot. Hope that's okay, because I love what I am seeing. Can we grow old together, gracefully, with more love than you can imagine, your husband Mark.